right, people, <clears throat> I'm just going to go over this. I'm not going to go over all the questions because uh, a lot of them are really easy. So, uh, And your test will be pretty much like this. Not exactly. You'll be doing some law of multiple proportions calculations. Uh, other than that, this is pretty much what your test looks like. Uh, I'll also, you know, put the actual disk on the... Uh, Google Classroom <clears throat> for you to do, obviously, but here we go. What's happening between B and C? Right there, we have some melting going on. Is this fresh water? No, because the melting point is clearly here, and the boiling point is up here. Uh, where's the liquid on here? Between C and D, right there. Um... What explains the two flat lines? The energy there is latent. Or you can say, hey, there's melting and boiling. Now, why is the line steep right here? Because there's no melting or boiling. Basically, all the energy is going in to change the temperature. All right? Okay, pretend I wrote that. Uh, this is from my notes. These are your conversions here, KHD space DCM cell. I know 34, how many meters and 34 decimeters? 34 decimeters, 3.4. Uh, average amount of atomic mass of calcium. You look up calcium, it's going to be 40. It's number 20 in the periodic table. So that's the mass right there, average mass. How many protons are in sodium? 11. Look it up on the table. What is the temperature? Oh, Jesus, that's so easy. All right. Let's see, to remove the sand first and then the salt, what combination of tech? Well, first you'd have to use a filter, and then you evaporate. Write the names of the elements. Um, would carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide be the same? No. Every compound is different. Different. I mean, this is poisonous, and this is like comes out of your mouth every time you breathe. Uh, let's see. What is the temperature at which a liquid turns into a gas called the boiling point or the vaporization point? Um, the amount of heat takes. The, that's the heat of vaporization. I'm just really trying to go over, I used an S on purpose, look it up. <clears throat> Combination of two, this is the compound. Uh, state of matter in which, my, all these are just in your notes, all right? Here we go, what's the percentage of oxygen by mass and carbon dioxide? Well, you have 12, 16, and 16. 12, 16, and 16, so 32 out of the 44 is oxygen. So you could do the math on that, but I'll do it for you. 32 divided by 44. It's like 73% oxygen. Um, this is from the lab. Prove the law of multiple proportions. Ooh, yeah, you're going to have to do this, okay? I'm not going to do this on this video because I do it on several other videos. And if you don't know how to do this, you need to look that up, okay? Uh, and stuff. Is this a graph of fresh water? Yeah. Look at that, zero and a hundred. Also, look here. See how that line's shorter and that line's longer? Huh? Huh? This line should be about seven times as long as that line, right? That's a really good graph. Um, and only one thing I don't like, I don't like the steepness of these lines, and we could talk about that later. Then, what two states are in the beaker at point D? Liquid and gas. All right, that's about the whole review. Uh, the rest of the stuff is obvious, I think.